Wow. 
tell me in the name of the living God. Somebody was God. Somebody thank God for your salvation. Open your mouth wide and thank Him for this great work at Calvary. He poured His blood. He shed His blood for your salvation and for my salvation. Somebody worship God. Somebody bless God. Somebody honor Him. Adore Him for His goodness. Oh, for His goodness, for the sacrifice that He made at Calvary. I give you praise. I give you praise.
we're going to stop now, and we're going to ask if there's any dissidents and guests here amongst us. Here at All Nations Evangelical Church, we do not call you guests. We do not call you visitors. We call you heavenly dignitaries. And so, if there are any heavenly dignitaries for the first time on a Sunday morning here at All Nations Evangelical Church, we're going to ask you to please stand. Give us your name and who invited you, and I will be with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God for an opportunity to be here today, certainly. My name is Bishop W.H. Dawkins Jr., and you actually invited me. You didn't know when I was coming. Amen. <laughs> I thank God for this opportunity. Certainly bless each and every heart in the building this morning. Amen. Amen. Just as if you can hear all these kids, I just who you are to us. For in all nations, you are not a stranger, but God's dignitary, Christ Jesus' dignitary, the Holy Ghost dignitary. promise he made long time ago 
that is coming back again. Yes, he's coming back, coming back again. Hey, hey. Glory, hallelujah, bless his name and lift him up. Praise God, he's coming back again. He told us not to worry, but that he had to go our way. And while he was away, he'll be building us a place. When the time is right, might be morning, noon, or night, he will come back and he's gonna take us back. Oh, he's coming back again. Oh, oh, oh yes, he's coming back, coming back again. Bless his name and lift him up. Praise God, he's coming back again. He's coming back again. Yes, he's coming back, coming back again. Soprano voice, she is here today, and uh, sister, you know, sister. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is good all, all the time. The Lord is abundantly good. Last week we studied the book of Revelation, chapter nine, and in chapter nine we found out about the judgment that is coming upon the earth. We found out about the great tribulation, the great tribulation that is coming. Too many of us try to avoid this book of Revelation, and yet it is in this book that the Lord says that, blessed are those who read and keep the sayings of this book, the book of Revelation. Because the book of Revelation actually is uh, the explanation that the Lord granted to uh, John. John is explaining what Jesus Christ spoke in Matthew chapter 24. And so we'll be coming from Matthew 24 today. John is breaking down everything that Jesus Christ said in Matthew 24. Why did God choose John? Well, John, we know, the Bible says that he is the beloved of the Lord. He's the one who always when they sat, he was close to Jesus and put his head on, on Christ. He was the one who, when Jesus was telling every one of the apostles how they were going to die, Peter asked Jesus, how about John? 
And Jesus said, concern, be concerned about your own. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the John, the beloved. He is the one who wrote first, second, and third book of John. And you see that in all his book, he talks about love. And he's the one who makes us know whether you are a Christian or not. Because he's the one who tells us, he says, if any man says his love, he loves God and hates his brother, the love of God is not in him. And he's the same person who says that he who loves the world, the love of God is not in him. The same John now has become the revelator and he's the one who was exiled. Of all the apostles, they, he's the one they put in a pot of oil and cooked. They were frying him because he would not deny Christ, but he didn't die. And so they exiled him onto an island called Patmos. And at Patmos, the Lord so spoke to him. So the book of Revelation is an amplification of what Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 24. So we'll go into Matthew 24 today so that you and I can very much appreciate what we studied in the book of Revelation chapter 9. Matthew 24, And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all this? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another, that shall not be thrown down. The disciples thought Jesus Christ was like by some people who would get excited at looking at the magnificence of the building and start complimenting those who put it up. But no, Jesus Christ turned their attention to something else. They said, look, this is a beautiful, isn't it so fascinating? Jesus Christ said, look, can you see this? One stone was not left on ten. In AD 70, that happened. Titus came through, raised the whole building down. The temple that they saw glory in, that temple was raised down. This building that maybe we take pride in, one day will be flattened. Walmart building you see, any of the buildings that you and I see, one day is going to be brought what? down. That is why it is not good to tie your heart to the material things of this world because one day they will all become nothing. Hallelujah. They will become what? Nothing. Nothing. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us, when shall these things be? What are these things? When the temple will be raised down? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Now you see three questions. Is that right? The first one about a temple, the second about your second coming, and the third about the end of what? The world. So this does not concern only Israel. It concerns the whole world. We have to, when we are studying the word of God, we have to pay attention to what we are reading. Let's look at the question again. It says, tell us, when shall these things be? What are these things? The temple, when will it be pulled down? And what shall be the sign of your coming, Jesus Christ, your second coming? If you are going back, what is going to be the sign of your coming? And of the end of Israel? Of the end of Israel? Uh, okay, we'll, we'll close now. It's because everybody has gone to sleep on me. The end of what? The end of the world. This has to do with the world. Jesus Christ has elevated it from Israel to what? The whole world. So now Jesus begins to enumerate, gives them one by one what is going to happen. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Hello? Amen. All nations, evangelical church, take heed that Pastor Pimpon does not what? Deceive you. Take heed that no one deceives you. And how would you be able to take heed? How? By studying the word of God, and by being prayerful. By being what? Prayerful. Studying the word of God. Not forsaking yourselves to gather with the, with the saints. 
It says, for many shall come in my name. Did you see that? Many shall come what? They will come that God sent them. They will come that Jesus Christ what? Send them. And today we are so many of them who have come that they were sent. In, in, uh, in Congo, there 